Welcome back. 75 gallon rimless mixed reef saltwater aquarium and just completed a 15 gallon water change. Uh, normally I do a 20 gallon. Uh, however, the um, brute trash can 20 gallon that I use, uh, I use two of them. Uh, one of them, the one that has um, the holder of wastewater. Um, basically had like a micro um, leak in it and it just got worse over time so I resorted to using the 15 gallon quarantine tank as the waste water collector and so 15 gallons is this water change uh, which I'm okay with five gallons is not a big deal um, on the left hand side I am battling a little red cyanobacteria. I think it was triggered due to removing uh, the wave pump um, Tunzi 6095 on the left hand side um, because um, removed it for about three weeks. Um, it's a better look to the tank without having any pumps, any wires in it and so um, but the lack of flow and um, Perhaps a little bit of overfeeding has caused um, a um, explosion in the red cyano on the left hand side of the tank and a little bit on the right. So I have cut back the feeding and we put the 6095 uh, Tunzi pump back into the tank and um, will increase, um, step up my water changes. So. Um, and dial back some of the feeding to help cut the nutrients. Um, in the sump, I did put an extra bag of carbon um, just passively in the sump, and then also an extra bag of Seachem Fosgard. Um, each bag has about a cup in it, and that's in addition to the reactors that I run. So hopefully that help, and let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we zoomed in on the left hand side of the tank and we move the light over. And you can see some of the rock right here <coughs> due to low flow is um, covered with uh, what I think is red cell bacteria. Um, so, taking steps to get that under control before it takes over the entire left side of the tank. Um, vacuum the substrate and accidentally chipped one of my SPS corals right there. You can see it hanging off. Uh, so I may, I'll probably end up fragging that piece that's hanging before it drops off. And then slowly but surely gluing down corals. Um, I do have another, um, let's see, I just did an unboxing of the live aquaria. That purple fish right there is the only one that survived that freaking order. And we all know ordering fish online is not cheap. Even if you do get free shipping, just means that you spent more money to get the free shipping. Um, and then this one's a little bit beat up, um, but he did survive um, my... Coral beauty angelfish seems to have terrorized all the other fish and chased them all over the tank. But due to this one's size um, and a lot of the nook and crannies where the angelfish can't go, it seems to have found um, a place in the tank and the angelfish has left it alone. Um, so now I have the three clownfish. Uh, the um, Angelfish, the blue green chromis, and uh, my new purple fish with the um, healing from a wound you can see right there. <clears throat> it probably ran into a rock or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's where things are at. Um, another order of corals coming. Um, it will probably be my last order for the year. And some pieces that I've been wanting to get for a long time. Um, fox coral, 
um, a green bubble coral. I'm trying to stay away from green, but um, those. Um, and then one coral is actually going to be the first coral that I have spent over a hundred dollars on, um, and that will, um, will be a surprise. But I'm very excited about that. So um, I tend to prefer to order corals in batches, my fish in batches, and that way I limit the number of times that I pull out all the um, quarantine gear and acclimation tools and products. Um, so it seems to have worked for me and we'll continue with that. Um, let's see, let's um, look at the right hand side of the tank. Hammer Crow is doing well. The uh, Pulsing Zania is battling with the yellow um, let's see, the red algae right there. And believe it or not, the um, I guess the yellow polyps, whatever those are called. Um, yellow zoos. I don't think they're zoos though. Um, they seem to be holding back or keeping the pulsing zania from spreading, uh, which is nice. And um, the Duncans are doing well. Uh, orange mushrooms, can't get enough of those. And in the middle of the tank right there to the left, the frog spawns are doing well. The, everything's a little bit closed up because the water change um, has clouded up. But everything's going well. Uh, I am still deciding on a dosing pump. I've been adding manually dosing alkalinity, um, which seems to drop. So I think I am up to, I want to say, let's see, the Seachem carbonate, which is their um, the liquid form. I am dosing, I think, 30 mils um, a day or so. Uh, right around 30, 35, somewhere in there, maybe 40. Um, so definitely want to get a dosing pump that's on the list. And yeah, that's where things are at with the reef. Thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers and stay tuned for more updates.